what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how to change the sky color. This will work in some of your pictures. Depends on how much stuff you have sticking up into the sky. This one's perfect. There's not much there. There's a good ridge line, so we're going to be able to do this. So now well, the first thing you want to do is you want to duplicate this layer. You can do that at Control J. That'll duplicate it. Let's shut this one off. Let's grab our magic wand tool. And now we're going to select the sky. We got this on tolerance at 32. See, it doesn't really select everything because of the color change. But if you hit the shift key, you can see there when I push and hold the shift key, there's a plus. That's going to add more of a selection to the selection that's already there. So let's select more of an area. I tap it a few times and make sure it's nice and close up to all these trees. So this way we're not dealing with too much of an issue. You can see right here, we're going to have a little issue behind these trees because of the blue. We're not going to be able to go in there and select each bit, but I got a little trick that's going to help us with that. So next thing you're going to do is we're going to right click. We're going to layer via cut, and then basically cut the sky out and put it in another layer. So you can see there it's in a separate layer. Now you could do this a couple ways. You could just change the saturation and this and the hue and you can go like that and just change the sky colors but most of the time it doesn't really get me the color I want so another way you can do this is hit control and then left click on this box and you can see that reselected the area that we were at then you could go to gradient and in the gradients I got a bunch of extras these are my sky colors you can select one like that and then what you can do is, if you hold shift, it'll give you a straight line. If you see, if you don't hold shift, you can be over there with shift. It'll give you a straight line, 45 degree, and so on. And then fill that area. Now you can see the biggest problem, control D, that'll deselect that area. You got this highlight along this whole ridge line that makes it look real fake. So what we're going to do is we're going to, let's take a step back back to that sky and we're gonna fix this gradient so you can see here these are the colors that's a starting color and then the ending color let's move this color into the middle and at the end here we're gonna put another color and what we're gonna select is the sky color click OK now when you put the gradient in there you can see that the sky color is similar to what was there so we're not going to have that problem with too much of a highlight along that ridge line. So now you can do it that way. Or what I like to do is open a whole new layer. Let's move this down behind here. Let's shut that one off. And now we'll run a whole new one down the back. This way what you can do, you select the select tool. It'll give you a little more freedom. You can adjust the sky up and down. Depending on how you want the gradient, you know, you can move it up and down if you want less blue, more blue. I like that deep rich blue, so we're going to keep it like that and probably just about like that. So now that's good for that. Now there was some clouds and stuff in there, but what I got is, let's see, let's select another layer. Oops, first I have to check that. Let's open another layer and now go to paintbrush and now in my paintbrushes I have a whole bunch of them and I got clouds a whole bunch of different types so cloud one let's append it because it's gonna add it right to the other ones and now we can pick through here and pick out some different styles now 999 I know is a little bit too big so what we're gonna do is oops and bring that down to about maybe 600 now over here you want to make sure that your colors you have a little gray like the color you want your clouds in the background to be white and that'll work out great for you and then you can just add in your clouds again where you want I always switch in between getting some different ones let's see that one let's go back up around the same size five six hundred and just keep adding some clouds to different areas 
get a little bit smaller, wispy looking ones. And get them in there. And I think you kind of get the point. Get some more in there. And you could just add some clouds. Another thing I like to do is on this layer, I want to sharpen this up a little bit. So what we're going to do is control J, make another layer again. Go into filter, other, high pass. Now you can see there how it's just showing through. You don't want it like too far. That's like way too much. That's really not enough. So you want to move it up to just about where it's shining through. See it's got some detail in some of the uh, shadowy areas and stuff like that. That's good. And then what you want to do is for the mode of that, you want to change that. You can do overlay, soft light, hard light. Those are usually the top three that I use. For this one, I'm going to use soft light. And you can see how that sharpened that up. Now we're going to select both these layers. And then we're going to merge them. So now they're both together and you can see how that's nice and sharp. Next thing I want to do is I want to darken these trees a little bit. So control L. We'll bring up the levels, and let's bring the level down just a little bit. Darkens them up just nice. That's good. And I want to saturate the trees a little bit more. So, control A, or you can go into your hue and saturation, however you're comfortable with. And I'm only looking at the trees right now. I like the trees right about there. And now you can see how it made this water, uh, the ice here, really blue. I don't like that. That's too blue. It looks fake. So we'll go into blues. And we'll desaturate that. Bringing that back down to where it looks like it's a good, comfortable level. Click OK. And there you go. You can basically uh, you flatten the whole image. It's going to discard this hidden layer here and this hidden layer here. Click OK. And then you save your picture. And there you go, you just transform your sky basically from something looking like this all the way to looking like something like that.